Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the seventh Tuesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. O oh God, you have taught us to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor. Grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 23rd chapter, beginning at the 56th verse. Then the women who had gone to the tomb returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath they rested according to the commandment. But on the first day of the week at early dawn they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. Here ends the lesson. We sometimes hear things that simply don't register with us, or maybe we don't even understand. Jesus had told the disciples repeatedly as they headed toward Jerusalem, something important that was going to happen. And now it had happened. And yet the disciples were confused and had a hard time believing that what they had heard was actually what they were experiencing. Now in defense of the disciples also, their first encounter after the resurrection was from women. And this is something that Jesus is already beginning to break the doors down. But in that culture at that time, women were not held with uh, very high respect and were certainly not considered reliable sources. And yet Jesus has been uh, showing tremendous countercultural respect for women and holding them in high esteem. And they are indeed the first witnesses. I mean, think about even prior to this, if any other Jewish man had encountered the Samaritan women at the well, there would have been no conversation with her as she was seen as unclean. Unfortunately, there are times when we share what God has done or is in doing in our lives and the facial response from the person we're sharing with uh, comes back just like what Luke wrote about in this gospel today. Their words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. God wants us to be in relationship with him. He wants us to be in relationship with one another through him. He wants us to be the people he created us to be before sin marred our lives. And yet, as we know, we often live our lives fighting God's will while at the same time seeking that relationship. We have to make God our highest priority if we want to blossom in that relationship. So as Jesus said elsewhere in this gospel, let him who has ears to hear, let him hear. And those who uh, choose not to listen, uh, choose not to be in that relationship. I mean, how could they? If they are not hearing the word of God, how can they learn and grow in the word of God? This is certainly no idle tale, and this is how we come to believe. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you in the same Spirit be honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our gospel reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, 
Join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoon or 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. If you're unable to join us in person, please join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Thank you.